Oat milk. You haven't just heard of it, you're probably drinking it. Whether it's an Oatly carton in your refrigerator or poured into your Starbucks in the morning, oat milk has taken the world by storm. But why has oat milk become so much more popular recently? Weren't almond and soy milk enough plant-based nonsense? Oddly enough, with the Toyota Corolla sickness spreading, Oatly sales have jumped even more. Demand for oat milk is outpacing hand sanitizer. What's being stockpiled in America's pandemic pantries? Oat milk. Outside of this, oat milk sales are still skyrocketing. Oat milk sales spiked by 686% in 2019. The popular vegan milk is the fastest growing segment of the plant-based milk category, sales of which now account for 14% of the entire milk category. And it's kind of funny once you understand what oat milk actually is. Oats blended with water. Seriously? They literally take some oats, soak them in water, and then puree that into milk, aka an oat slop slurry. Let's see what the experts have to say about the health of this product. Unlike other nut milks, oat milk retains more of its nutrients, like fiber and protein, which are mostly found in the leftover pulp. A cup of oat milk has 4 grams of protein, compared to almond milk, which has about 1 gram. Soy milk, however, boasts the most at around 7 grams. However, all are less than cow's milk, which has around 8 grams per 8 ounce cup. Oat milk also boasts 2 grams of fiber, compared to only 1 gram for both almond and soy, and 0 grams from cow's milk. Oh no, I won't get my 2 grams of fiber. What will I ever do? <laughs> As for other nutrients your body needs, oats contain a variety of vitamins and minerals such as thiamine, folate, magnesium, zinc, copper, and phosphorus, among others. First off, the purpose of any plant food, grain, cereal, fruit, vegetable, is twofold. One, for caloric energy. Two, to feed the gut microbiome with carbohydrates. The media loves circle jerking over the paper value of, you know, protein in plant food, the macronutrients. Reality is, the amino acid profile in plant foods isn't conducive to the bioavailability that animal foods have. Fiber is not as important as it's made out to be, plus the vitamins and minerals in those plant foods are again unavailable to the body, just like the protein is in some cases, whether it's the form of the vitamin or the chelation of the mineral. But judging from other articles, it seems like the oat milk lobby is paying off some nutritionists to write positive news stories, and in some cases, not even positive, just put oat milk in as many places as possible. The truth about oat milk versus almond milk, according to nutritionists. Of course we have the BS according to nutritionists. The appeal to authority. Like, oh my god, you got a degree, you're such a smarty pants! As usual, these pseudo-intellectual nutritionists just look at the paper value macronutrient ratios of the food, valuing that over the natural properties of said food. You know, this nutritionist mentioned the dangers of certain food additives, but doesn't acknowledge other blatantly dangerous ones. It's just a facade of an advertisement for these plant-based milk products that are raking in billions of dollars. It's controlled opposition. Oh, you know, almond milk is bad because of this. Oh, Oat milk is bad because of that, but overall, they're both a great addition to your diet. So, why is oat milk the next deadly trend? Primarily because of the agrochemicals, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, insecticides that we are spraying on our crops. You know, glyphosate is very popularly known to be sprayed on oats. Secondarily, but not nearly as significant, is the anti-nutrient concern of improperly prepared grains. A standard American diet is so unhealthy, you have far more concerns than the anti-nutrient content of a plant food. Pollutants and toxins in the food supply, rancid omega-6 seed oils and feedlot animal products all make a cup of oat milk look healthy. That is, until you see how some of it's made. This is where the magic happens. Oats are being milked right in that tank. Yeah, yeah, got that's, it. That's where the milking is. <laughs> the teeth, yeah. Got it. This might shock you but oats cannot actually be milked. The Oatly recipe relies on natural enzymes, high pressure heat cylinders, and a lot of complicated science. The process is patented, and there's secret tech we weren't allowed to film. What's actually in this commercially prepared stuff besides oats? Oat base, rapeseed oil, 
acidity regulator, calcium carbonate, calcium phosphates, iodized salt, and vitamins. Starting with the oat base, of course we have a mild anti-nutrient concern. You know, are there lectin-like substances that contribute to leaky gut? Are phytates inhibiting the absorption of certain minerals? Overarching that though, is the pesticides, the herbicides, the fungicides that have been sprayed on those crops. Those will cause far more gut issues and inflammation in your body than an anti-nutrient ever will. You know, imagine you're taking thousands and thousands of pounds of these oats that have been sprayed and you're making a chemical slurry, aka oat milk. Uh, the rapeseed oil is high in omega-6, it's likely rancid. Uh, dipotassium phosphate is actually used as a fertilizer. What that'll probably do is stress your liver slightly. Calcium is never good to supplement. You know, humans don't need large amounts of it. They need vitamin D3 and K2 predominantly to mobilize and utilize calcium. Uh, iodized salt is usually made from highly processed, low quality table salt. You know, the vitamins they are adding to this oat milk are not in the bioavailable forms. You know, you need vitamin D3, not D2, but they probably used vitamin D2 because it's vegan and cheaper and they're likely using cheaper versions of riboflavin and B12 as well, which aren't actually getting utilized by the body. And a lot of these nutrients require fat to be absorbed, and you know, when you're vegan, when you're restricting fat, that could be another issue. All of this being said, I actually have an oat milk recipe myself. There were groups of indigenous humans in Scotland who subsisted a large percentage of their calories off of oats. You know, the oats they were eating, however, were grown in higher quality soil, free of modern agrochemicals, and prepared in a much different way. Most importantly, with the addition of fermentation. What's really crazy is if you compare oat milk, or really any milk for that matter, even conventional store-bought cow's milk, to a high quality, raw, grass-fed dairy product. You go from something that has no semblance of nutrition whatsoever, with some negative compounds added to it, to something that is literally nutritionally complete, has every single vitamin, mineral, element, fatty acid your body needs with the exception of a few. Not only that, raw grass-fed dairy is a super approachable food in the form of that glass of delicious, creamy raw milk, raw cream, butter, cheese. So many dairy products are consumed by the average person. Yogurt, it's incredibly approachable, it's incredibly nutritious. But the difference between that store-bought conventionally raised product and what you can get from your local farm is night and day. You have vitamin A in the form of retinol, the bioavailable animal version, all of the B vitamins, super high amounts of B12. You have vitamins K2, small amounts of vitamin D3, minerals, elements are ample, preformed versions of omega fatty acids, and you know the amino acids, the proteins in cow's milk are much more bioavailable than the proteins in the plant milk. You cannot compare any of these store-bought milks to what a true quality animal product is, and there's a reason they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to go to a farm, buy raw milk for five, six, seven, eight dollars a gallon, and heal all of your health problems. They want you spending hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars on supplements, medical treatments, things you don't need. Stocking up your pantry with gallons and gallons of nonsense plant-based oat milk. If you want to learn how to prepare healthy oat milk, or a porridge for that matter, I'll link that video at the end here. Oats are unusual from other grains. They have a higher fat content. They offer much more nutrition, but they do lack the enzyme phytase that other grains have. So the fermentation has to be longer to break down the negative compounds. A bowl of properly prepared oat porridge with raw cream and honey is certainly a healthy treat every morning. The nutritional difference between something like that and this modern oat concoction is comical. You would think it's so close yet so far. A lot of these products aren't as bad as other more popular foods, but the point is that you know, stuff like oat milk is a net negative. When your diet is only composed of net negatives, you know, when you lack nutritious animal foods, you become fat, sick, and unhappy as the majority of people. It's very easy to argue that drinking something like oat milk on occasion isn't harmful and your body can deal with those stressors, but everything's a stressor, your whole lifestyle is bombarded with negative things, what do you expect's gonna happen? So thank you guys for joining me. 
If you could please like the video, subscribe, leave a comment down below for Frankie Boy. Uh, if you want to support me further, you, know, you can check out organsupplements.com. Check out Frankie's Free Range Meat for high quality animal foods. Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. As well as frank-stefano.com if you guys want a free carnivore diet meal plan. Thanks so much for joining me guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Haha <laughs> Frank, the only oat milk you drink is from your boyfriend. <laughs>